The son of Richard Wagner certainly had some big shoes to fill. I'm the Classical Nerd, and today we're talking about Siegfried Wagner. Siegfried Wagner was born in 1869 to Richard Wagner and his then fiance Cosima, who was at that point still married to conductor Hans von Bülow, and he was not keen on acknowledging his wife's infidelity. It's important to remember that not only was Siegfried the son of perhaps the greatest opera composer of all time, but was also the grandson of one of the greatest pianists of all time in Franz Liszt. He was very effeminate as a child, sometimes dressing up as a ballerina, and yes, he was named after the mythic figure at the heart of his father's ring cycle. That'd do a number on any kid's psyche. Because Richard was quite old when Siegfried was born, he suffered the loss of his father when he was 14. After his father passed away, the borderline and healthy idolization that Siegfried placed him in was thereafter transferred to his mother, who at that point had taken over as the czar of the family's Bayreuth festival, intended to carry on Richard's legacy in perpetuity. With no father to teach him composition, the task fell to Engelbert Humperdinck. No, not that guy. Yeah, that guy. The real Engelbert Humperdinck. Siegfried grew up in an all-music environment and felt the pressure of being the next in line, the heir apparent to his father's artistic advances, and he was understandably spooked by this. He actually spent several years abroad studying architecture and design, but all roads led back to Bayreuth. Siegfried was gay, or possibly bisexual, no one really knows for sure, in an era when that sort of stuff was kept deep inside the closet, but circumstances Specifically, affairs within Kaiser Wilhelm's circle led his mother to believe that in order to save his career, he needed to get married and fast. He ended up marrying an 18-year-old woman from England named Winifred Williams. And although they had two kids, this did not stop him from carrying on an affair with the guy who served as the best man. But this gets weirder. After Siegfried's death, Winifred went on to carry out an affair with Adolf Hitler. Yes, that Adolf Hitler. And she remained unrepentant about this until her death in 1980. I mean, for goodness sakes, people, how hard is it? Why? These people just cannot get away from the anti-Semitism. Gosh. In fact, we do not know the full extent of Winifred's correspondence with Hitler because to this day, the family keeps them under lock and key. I mean, come on! The most outspoken critic today within the family of the family's history of basically being Nazis is effectively estranged. <sighs> because of the intimate involvement between the Wagners and the Nazis, gay men who worked in the machinery of Bayreuth were given a pass when they would otherwise be thrown into concentration camps. In order to sustain their propaganda, the Nazis needed something with the sheen of being purely Aryan. Problems and discrepancies between the values of the Bayreuth Festival and the values of Nazism would be overlooked and thrown under the rug. When Siegfried was almost 40, his mother decided that it was time to cede control over the festival to him. And as director, he made some controversial decisions, including the casting of several scantily clad teenage boys just sort of randomly, but it was also credited with turning the festival into something new, including integrating early 3D effects. It was definitely a novel approach, and it went too far in the eyes of some, but in all it was the kind of kick in the rear that the festival needed in order to stay fresh. His skills as a music director far exceeded his skills as a composer, although he enjoyed the latter much more. His first opera was by far his most successful, but he could never emulate the response he got to the 1898 premiere. He would end up writing more operas than his father. Siegfried died suddenly in 1930, age 61, from a heart attack brought on by the stress of putting together a production of one of his father's music dramas. Control of the Bayreuth Festival thereafter fell to Winifred. He wrote 18 operas in all, none of which endured in the repertoire after his passing. His work is much more influenced by that of Humperdinck than that of his father, which is how he escaped the pressure of being, you know, Richard Wagner's kid. The lack of public dissemination of his work has a lot to do with his family stabbing his legacy in the proverbial back. Since his work was seen as inferior to that of his father's, the family actually suppressed them. Expiring copyrights allowed for the formation of a society devoted to Siegfried's work in the 1970s, 
although performances have yet to materialize.